Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 13th. So this is for uh, right around the 13th. It may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. Then we're going to use this deck right here. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you, right? Okay, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Truth! This is the judgment card. Some truth may come out, some truth may be revealed. This is for Saturday the 13th. This is a wake up call. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Now, this is also a card of karma, so keep that in mind. Um, you know, truth, I mean, judgment is absolution as well. So, hmm. let's see what we got here. Revelation, a reveal. Something is going to be revealed. Now, that reveal could come to yourself. I mean, you may get some sort of revelation, or somebody may speak the truth. You could just get some epiphany that wakes you up, okay? This is like a, you know, wake-up call of some sort. Ten of Cups reversed. <laughs> the High Priestess reversed. The Emperor Upright. The Page of Wands reversed. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups reversed. Wonderful. We saw we got one upright. It's about control, okay? Somebody's trying to control a situation. Misalignment of values, okay? They're not, it's really sad, right? Maybe trying to appease society. You know, not listening to their intuition. Uh, lack of direction here. We got somebody here that's going in the wrong direction. Repressing their emotions, holding back their feelings. Holding back their true feelings. Somebody's holding back their true feelings, trying to keep things under control, okay? Somebody may be trying to protect themselves by holding back their feelings, holding back their emotions. Not listening to their intuition, for sure. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. They've lost their direction. They've lost their focus. They're focused on everything but love. Oh, Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. King of Pentacles. Temperance. And Four of Pentacles. <laughs> and on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of the day, Saturday the 13th, Ace of Pentacles reversed, a lost opportunity. Somebody has lost the golden opportunity because they are focused on everything but love they're focused on appeasing society they're focused on their ego they've lost their direction you know they're trying to escape some sort of reality of some sort by you know of some sort of obsession to appease or to prove themselves to others um, we have somebody here that uh, is really trying to build their own security up to a point. It's like really focused on their money, really focused on their job, really focused on their appearance. Seriously. We got somebody here that is really, really focused on um, appeasing, appeasing everybody else, and therefore they're not getting emotional contentment, right? They're not. They're repressing their true feelings. I gotta just go check out this lighting real quick.
Oh, well, I'm not worried about that. Anyhow, um, somebody is absolutely positively going to get a wake-up call. There is no doubt about it. That ace of that ace of uh, swords and that truth card. This is a serious wake up call. They're going to get some sort of epiphany that they've lost a huge opportunity because you know you see it says misalignment of value. Somebody has been you know looking at monetary value and everything but emotional value, and therefore you know they've really. <laughs> closed themselves off to love and therefore there's there's no love in their life <laughs> so I really feel like we have somebody here that um, really needs to make some changes to bring balance they need to be able to balance out you know the two somebody needs to find a way to you know refocus and concentrate and come up with a plan where they can you know fit the two in together I, I really feel like we have somebody here that is um, really unable to give any I mean they're not giving anything to love, okay? So you may be dealing with somebody, could be an Aries or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or could be anybody, okay? We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I mean, we have every, we, it doesn't matter. We have somebody here that is focused on everything but love, and therefore they're not getting the love. They're not getting any love, okay? They're, they're, or they're not giving any love. There's no happily ever after here because without love, you really, I mean, hap, money really can't buy happiness. I know a lot of people think that it can, but it can't. And that's a fact, but, you know, a lot of people don't see that. And they, we're going to get a wake-up call eventually. You know, when you go to bed at night, you go to bed every night alone. There's, that's a wake-up call in itself. So I, I really feel like we have a very selfish individual here who is losing a huge, huge, huge opportunity for real, actual abundance. They're, they're losing it, seriously. They're losing an opportunity for some serious abundance because they're not making, they've lost their direction. They're not making the right choice, you know. <laughs> Um, I think we have somebody here that has a really big ego, <laughs> really, seriously, somebody that has a big ego and they got to prove, it's like I got to prove to everybody that, you know, I'm stable, I'm secure, you know, that I have it all, you know, I got to prove, I got something to prove, we definitely have somebody here that has something to prove and they're lacking in the love arena because of it, you got to be able to balance out the two, you can have both, you can but somebody isn't wise enough to see that, okay? Um, we do have a, a person here that is very wise, though. We have somebody here that is, is trying to, you know, protect everybody involved. We have a protector here. This person could be a father, okay? This person that you're dealing with could be a father, and he has to take care of the children. He has to take care of the kids. He has to take care of the family, and he thinks that by providing monetarily, by providing, you know, all the finer things in life, you know, that's enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. I'm here to tell you it's not enough. But that's what somebody's thinking here. Somebody's putting all their effort and time and energy into possessions and things and trying to prove themselves when they should be focusing on love, bring love into the into this situation and that's where when everything will grow I'm just telling you but whatever so anyway let's get some more cards somebody has lost a golden opportunity or they're losing a golden opportunity because they've lost their direction and now it's like you know you think about Satan you think about greed okay we do have some greed here we do we you think about that um, It doesn't last. It doesn't last. It's short term. It's short term gratification. The devil doesn't want you to be happy. It really doesn't want you to be happy. So it's going to have you focus on those things that really don't matter in the long run. Anyhow, somebody has lost an opportunity or they're losing an opportunity because they've made some poor decisions. They're making poor decisions. Um, 
And I feel like it's it's time to just you have to make a choice. I mean, you can bring you can you can handle both. Somebody's not being flexible. They're not allowing themselves to adapt to a situation where where they can you know bring it together and they can make better choices to bring balance to a situation. So I, somebody needs to basically um, maybe make some compromises here. Make some make some compromises. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is is moving in a direction, a different direction, or they're going to be. They may receive some sort of wake-up call, some truth, or they may start to see a situation clearly that, you know, money can't buy me love. Money can't buy me love. I mean, we could put that song on here. Money can't buy me love, and that's what this is. So, I, whatever. Anyhow, um, somebody's intuition has been telling them, you know, that it's time to move out of that, that situation, whatever it is that they're in. You know, it's time to, you know, go after peace. Uh, I don't know. They're not doing it. No, they're not doing it. They're not moving. They're, there's Somebody is... <sighs> taking their sweet little time there may be there may be a lack of confidence there may be a lack of courage we have somebody here who's definitely i mean this card says reckless they're not thinking clearly you know <sighs> page of cups reversed emotional immaturity oh my god we we definitely have somebody here that Wow, I'm just looking at these pages, both of them reversed and this night re reversed. We have a person here that is, hasn't awo awoken yet, okay? They, they haven't woken up. They haven't been through their spiritual awakening, right? They haven't really seen what is what true happiness is. <laughs> I don't know where this message is coming from, but we have somebody here that is being reckless, that is emotionally immature, that lacks direction, that lacks focus, that lacks concentration, and and, and really isn't making the best decisions. I'm sorry. That's what I see. And I think that they're not making the best decisions because they're focused on the wrong things, okay? They're focused on... Well, money can't buy me love. I mean, that's the, that's the truth here. Um, it's sad. It is sad. The world card. This is a major completion. This is the end. It's the last card in the deck. It's a lesson. So somebody's probably going to learn a lesson. A lesson learned. So I feel as though somebody is about to learn some sort of lesson be, uh, for their poor decisions that they have made. Um, and they're probably going to go into a new, go in, in a new direction. There's been a, a bit of reckless behavior and perhaps that's where, why somebody is, is holding back. It feels like somebody is holding back from, uh, moving forward, perhaps into a relationship, holding back from moving forward into a relationship because they made some reckless, poor financial decisions and they have to recover. That could certainly be the case. I feel like we have somebody here that is absolutely obsessed with with um, money. They're obsessed with, you know, proving themselves. We have somebody here that, you know, really wants everybody to see what they have. And therefore, they're not, you know... Maybe they're not allowing themselves to open up their heart or they're just not allowing themselves to feel. You know, they're, they're pushing their true feelings aside for greed, obsession, you know, the need to prove themselves. So I feel like, you know, the emotional immaturity, what more can I say? I mean, other than the fact we have somebody here that needs to lighten up and, and listen to their heart once in a while. Um... This is healing, forgiveness, abandonment, abandonment, oh my God. And, and the tower, upheaval, hip, hip, hooray. So we have uh, a change coming. <laughs> a change is coming. Somebody is about to learn their lesson. 
Somebody is going to learn a lesson for making some poor decisions. I don't know who. Don't get scared. But the, this is a universe card. This is a universe card. The universe is, sees all, hears all, knows all, right? I feel as though somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security, a false foundation, and here comes the universe to, you know, force you to abandon ship. I mean, to uh, force you to, you know evolve change okay i'm telling you what this is change evolve okay maybe make some compromises in your life okay the tower wants you know towers from the universe i would consider i mean these are both universe cards uh, you know i would say this that's like a blessing in disguise okay it's like the, it's like a higher power saying you know what you can't go on like this it's time for a change. It's time for you to evolve. It's 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 time for you to you know start a new phase, start a new chapter in your life and you can't you can't keep doing the same things that you've been doing that have caused caused upheaval in your life. <laughs> anyway, I really feel as though somebody's about to get some sort of wake up call that is going to probably um force them to head in a new direction it's time for a change i mean that's what i see somebody has been <clears throat> obsessed with the wrong things and love really does matter it really does so <clears throat> somebody's going to get some clarity about you know where happiness is and i think they're probably the universe is going to push them in a new direction that's what it, the universe is going to help them to move in a new direction they've lost their direction but i'm telling you what we gotta we got a change coming and it may be a little uncomfortable something may come crashing to the ground um there, you know something may go up in flames whatever uh, you know and i feel like this needs to happen so that you know they can begin again in some way so that they can start on their you know true path okay somebody's just going down the wrong path they may be you know they may think that they're saving money or they may think you know that all these things matter but in fact they're really losing they're losing money they're losing it's, it's really a loss it really is it really really is Here we have celebration. It's time to have fun. You should have fun. It's time to go out and have some fun. So I really feel like for some of you, not all, some of you are holding on to a third party situation where there's no love. And you may be holding on to it because it's stable or not stable. Maybe you're holding on to it because you're emotionally immature and you don't know what you're worth you could be dealing with a person that is very um is using you okay we got somebody here that is is interested in everything but love that means sex included okay we have a i think it's a masculine it could be a feminine but i don't see any feminine really yet except for here we have a third party situation some of you are holding on to a person that is emotionally immature and they're not planning on offering you any love okay they don't got any love to offer they're focused on their their money they're focused on themselves they're not focused on love so if you're holding on to a third party situation thinking that somebody is going to head in your direction and they're going to start with you i don't see that I see that somebody needs to learn their lesson about involving themselves in a third party situation with a greedy individual who doesn't give a shit about love. They're using them. Now that's what I got going on here. So for some of you, some of you are being used by a person that is emotionally immature and has no feelings involved in there and the other person needs to walk away and, and you know, complete this chapter in their life and <laughs> wake up seriously and maybe that's exactly what this is this is a wake-up call why would you involve yourself in a situation when there's no love i mean that is what this is
it's time to move on. It's 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 time. Somebody has dealt with a player here, and that is the that's the truth. That is a hundred percent the truth. And whoever this person is, this person don't want no relationship. I'm sorry. This person does not want a relationship. This person um, is interested in everything but a relationship. Put it that way. And maybe the tower moment is coming to the person that is in denial. It's a wait, time to wake up. This is a rude awakening. You know, it is a rude awakening. It's a, it's a rude awakening when you realize that the person that you are holding on to doesn't love you. They were using you. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And it's, it's time to, you know, forgive this situation. Accept the truth. Accept it for what it is. Stop being reckless. Stop holding on. Stop letting yourself be deceived by somebody that does have hidden agendas that is very controlling and manipulative and is emotionally immature. And, and it's time for you to walk away and start your new life with some in a different direction because... You know, you deserve to be happy. So for some of you, you know, maybe maybe you got to let go of this player and go out. Go out with your friends. Let your friends help you um, open your heart in a new direction. So, I mean, hey, looks to me like somebody is, is needing to really... complete a cycle in their life that it's pretty much already over anyway it's like there's there's it's time it's it's, it's time to step over that finish line right it, it is it's time to stop you know being stuck and the universe like i said sees all it does and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna give somebody the rude awakening that they need to help them move on and start start again okay this is it's over i learned my lesson about involving myself with a player or a third party situation whatever it is somebody has learned their lesson now it could even be that somebody's learning a lesson. maybe both people are because this is a lesson learned somebody is learning a lesson for making the wrong choice they're gonna learn a lesson either way that is the card of karma absolutely So, anyhow, looks like today is a day of walking away from a false sense of security. And starting, starting a new phase, starting a new chapter. After a loss, in direct, a, a loss of, you know, direction. Somebody lost their focus, they lost their drive, they lost their ambition, they, they just went off track. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is definitely completing a cycle in their life. And this cycle does have to do with abandonment. Nobody deserves to be abandoned. I think it's it's definitely time for a change. There's a purpose. The temperance is a card of purpose. It's a card of possibility. And it's a card of change. So I feel like there there is definitely a change coming courtesy of the universe that is going to help somebody to transition into a new beginning. But, you know, the tower is is upheaval. So it, it's, it's like, a, it's a drastic change. It's something that, you know, may make you feel uncomfortable. So yeah, somebody's going to get a wake up call and they're going to move on. Somebody is going to get a wake-up call, and they are going to move on because they've learned some sort of lesson for their poor decisions. It's probably caused them a huge loss. Huge.
Obsession and greed will do that. Karma sees that shit. Anyhow. So, be prepared for some sort of upheaval. Oh, judgment is on the bottom of the deck, too. I just picked it up. I don't know if it was reversed or not because I just picked it up. So, we have judgment twice. Jumping to conclusions would be reversed. And then it says, uh, resurrection, judgment. At the top... Truth, revelation, some, some sort of truth is about to be revealed. Somebody is absolutely going to get a wake-up call. About what's most important in life. You think about Judgment Day, okay? Think about Judgment Day. When you go up there and you're, you're talking to your higher power or whatever. And, you know, you're going over your life. All the mistakes that you made. That's what we got here. That is what we got here. If you don't learn the lesson now, <laughs> I'm going to come back to bite you in the ass later. Anyhow, that's what I got for today, the 13th. I feel as though we have somebody here that is about to uh, get some sort of uh, revelation, epiphany of some sort that may help them to release a situation that is probably not healthy for them okay whatever that's what it is you know they're gonna have it's basically like repentance you think about judgment day again you know it's time to you know ask for forgiveness perhaps so i see forgiveness here um there could be forget somebody may be asking for forgiveness for abandoning another person forgiveness abandonment so I don't know. I feel as though somebody is about to get some sort of rude awakening because they didn't get the wish fulfillment that they thought they were going to get by being, by letting their ego drive the situation, by overindulging in, you know, the finer things in life. <laughs> you know, and now it's Judgment Day, <laughs> so I think it is. I think it's 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 the, it's the day of truth. Day of truth being revealed, truth being accepted, okay? So some of you, you know, the truth will come from within. Some of you, the truth will come from within. It's like all of a sudden you get this epiphany that, you know what? Okay, you yeah, know. Or something could seriously come crashing down all of a sudden that changes your view. going to go back over to this deck so be prepared be prepared to uh wake up whatever that means some sort of secret or something that has been hidden is about to be revealed because it's time for a change it's time for a big change time for you to you know start a new chapter in your life and somebody has been like hindering it you know because of their emotional immaturity I see we have somebody here that's about to take the lead somebody is about to take charge of a situation for sure watching clouds we get this one a few times lie back rest and relax a good one huh that's for the people that work too hard. I don't, who, who the hell has time to sit back and watch clouds? I mean, that's a good thought. I mean, it really is. And that's a good message. I mean, think about this for a second. Do you have time to go sit outside and watch the clouds? Lie back, rest, and relax. Put everything aside and take time to renew your energy. It's often when you totally relax that new insights and awareness can emerge. And maybe that's where you get the epiphany. Yeah. Take deep, full breaths. Put your feet up. Be present in each moment. Do nothing. Watch clouds. The answers that you seek will emerge easily. But first, you need to stop all activity. Take naps and reevaluate your life. 
keyword. Reevaluate your life. There are times when the most empowering thing the traveler can do is step off the path, stretch out, and lie on the earth to watch the clouds float by. This act is renewing and regenerating. When all the activity of the road diminishes and the traveler allows a languid relaxation to emerge, this is most often the time when the presence of spirit can be felt. This is also the time when significant signs appear. Whatever is most relaxing to you, stretching out in a hammock, watching clouds, taking a candlelit bath, or walking on a sea seashore, go do it. And the challenges in your life will diminish and often simply drop away. Somebody needs to take a time out with nothing, no music, no phone, no computer, no other people to reevaluate their future. Is this what you want? So anyway, I, I, I see a, I see a, a completion here, courtesy of the universe. The universe is trying to close a chapter. They're trying to help you to close a chapter that is held you back. And you deserve love. Good luck. You deserve love. <laughs>